let's uh, try winching ourselves closer to the trailer. There, can I attach now? You gonna let me have it? Can I have it? Okay, how badly screwed up did this get? Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I am Digby and today we are back in Mudrunner where we are getting ready to hopefully deliver some logs with our not suited for off-roading, I said that in air quotes, yeah with our not suited for off-roading GMC. Now the thought occurred to me at the end of the last episode that I absolutely goofed this up because we only need eight points per lumber mill and the long logs are actually only worth six. The configuration that I think I wanted was I needed to have the medium log bed and a medium log trailer and then I needed to fill both of those up so that I could just deliver eight points in one go. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to have to do this, I'm not recording my cursor so you're just going to have to take my word for it. We're going to go from here where we currently are all along this road in the middle and then we're going to hit town, we're going to hit the lumber mill. After which, I'm going to run up to the garage, I'm going to put on a short logs trailer, I was almost said small logs there, but yeah, it's a short log trailer, it's worth two points, we'll run back, we'll fill that up, we'll hit the lumber mill and finish that off, and then we'll go back to the garage, we'll get the medium log, medium log set up, and then we'll go back there again, and then after that, we will head down to the bottom corner of the map, we'll hit the final watch point, and we'll unlock the lumber mill, and that should hopefully accomplish all of our goals. So yeah, I don't know how long this is going to take. I suspect this episode will probably end somewhere in the neighborhood of me either loading up the short logs or delivering the short logs. Maybe we might make it back to the garage to get the medium log configuration. But yeah, either way, we've still got a massive job ahead of us in that we've got to get this titanic load of logs to that lumber mill with our truck. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start the engine. I'm going to adjust my volume so I can actually hear myself talking over the game. There we go. And then we'll just shift into the actual gear that I prefer traveling in. And then we'll head out. That didn't take long. Come on, baby, you can do this. Okay, come on, baby, just bite, just bite, just bite. You are so close. Oh, come on, just get out of the hole. Get out of this hole. Okay, well, we backed up before. Hopefully you're willing to back up again. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. There we go. A little bit further back. A little bit further back. Alright, let's try this again. So, lowest gear we can go in. Far over as we can go. We just gotta get out of this stupid little groove. Alright, give it a little bit more gas. Yeah, that mud's kind of got like a little bit of a hump there at the end that we've created. And that is absolutely the biggest sticking point I've currently got. Okay, hold on, we're moving. We're moving. A few inches later. Okay, that's all you've got? I tell you what, I think you've made the foot that I needed. You have? Ah, oh, thank God for that. All we need to get out of here is just a little bit of a help. <laughs> okay, now are we freewheeling? We're not freewheeling. Oh, well, that would explain that issue. Well, here's a thought. What if we just use the, uh, whoops, no. I want to go this way. Yeah, what if we just use the side winch and we hook it to that tree there? 
With any luck, that'll just kind of swing the cab around and clear this stupid rock. Get out of this stupid field of rocks and get ourselves back onto the road. Come on, baby. A little bit more. Oh, I am not going to be thwarted by a rock, goddammit. I just refuse. I absolutely refuse. Okay, are we out? We are... Still not quite out. That one big rock is still in the way. You know what? I'm going to hook the back of this trailer up to this thing. And I guarantee you we can get out of here. Okay, there we go. We are on the road. Please tell me we've got some traction. We do not have any traction at all. No, 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 no. You do not slide backwards, goddammit. Yeah, I think the problem now is we need to get up over this little bit of a hill. So, hopefully, doing the uh, rear winching trick will boost the nose of the truck up just over the lip where we need it. Oh, come on. You cannot be struggling this mightily with something this simple. Okay, why? Why is this thing being a pain? You know what? Let's try detaching it from there and actually swinging it around. Yeah, swing the trailer around. I assume there's something still stuck under it, maybe? Okay, do you not want to... Yeah, it is absolutely mired in something. It does not want to move at all. Well, I mean, it's moving a little bit. Yeah, it's not moving anywhere near like what we need it to do. Okay, well, it looks like it got excitable there for a second. Does that mean it's now out of whatever is causing it issues? Well, here's a thought, Digby. Let's gear down a little bit more, just to make life simpler. Kind of like that. Then we'll turn off the parking brake. And then we'll give it a little bit of a boost. Do not tell me I'm stuck on this one stupid little rock right in front of myself here. No, no game lag, please. I need to be able to focus. Come on, pull me out of here. Please, 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 please. Nope. I mean, we do have one other option. It's not a terribly great option, but it is an option. Oh, this is gonna suck. Wow, this thing really does not want to behave like an actual semi-trailer, does it? Come on, you. Swing yourself around. Come on, baby, get your big fat butt turned. Get your big fat butt turned. There we go. Okay. No, nope. a little bit more will make me happier. I don't need much, just a little. Just a little tiny bit. Come on, there we go. Oh, come on, you gave me that much, you can give me a little bit more, yeah? Come on, come on, come on. Okay, nope, that is apparently all we're gonna get. So, let's try taking this hill instead of head on at a little bit more of an angle. You're going right back where you started, and I don't want you to do that. Yeah, swing. Swing around. Swing around a little bit. Oh, for God's sakes, do I have to do everything the hard way? I mean, really. One hour later. Okay, are we under our own power yet? No, we are not. Why am I still not under my own power? You know what? One more should do it. Oh, actually, let's do it with the side. Yeah, once we get onto the friggin' roadway here, I think we're gonna be okay. At least until we hit the river, we will be.
Okay, I think we're at the actual big river. We are. And I've got to admit, the fact that I've gotten stuck about a thousand times already does not fill me... Whoops, that's not a thing we can do. Yeah, it does not fill me with confidence. So, I tell you what, if you don't want to grab onto that, how about we... Um, yeah, I want to side winch onto that tree right there. Yeah, kind of like that. And I want to get, hopefully, a decent run up at the water. Oh, I've got a really bad feeling about this. A really bad feeling. Um, alright, what would be the best approach, do we think? I mean, we're only going to get one little tiny bit of a downhill run at it. Yeah, we're just going to have to aim for the other side and hope for the best, I guess. Alright, Digby. Let's go for it. got something somewhere we can winch onto with any part of this truck. I mean, anything, anywhere at all will help. As long as it's not behind us. Um, how far back is that? Uh, I'm gonna actually try it on the theory that maybe, just maybe, it will swing the back of the trailer around and maybe help break us free a little bit. And release. Okay, come on. You can do this. You can do this. Oh, hold on. I've had a really evil idea. I mean, this is complete desperation, but it might be the only option we have. If I can remember how to do it. Oh, right there. Alright, trail's detached. Now... Can I get out on my own power without the trailer? Come on. Come on. Um. Okay, it's not gonna let me pack the loot. Oh. Hold on, I. Did I uninstall the log card as well? <sighs> Alright, well, that didn't bloody work. You know you wanna come out of here. Yeah, the theory I'm working on is if we can just get out of here. We can actually, um, tow the trailer across. You know what? Hold that thought. Let's, uh, nope. I don't want to select the winch source. Can't attach. I need to move closer. <sighs> hold on, hold on, hold on. We can do it. Close enough now. Nope, no one here close enough. I'm never going to be able to reconnect to this thing, am I? Let's, uh, try winching ourselves closer to the trailer. There, can I attach now? You going to let me have it? Can I have it? Okay, how badly screwed up did this get? Um, well, here's a thought. Let's just winch the hell out of everything and see what happens. Quite honestly, if I can just get me out of this stupid river, I will happily abandon the friggin' logs, and then we'll just come back for the trailer later and tow it out of the way. Okay, we are well and truly off the road, so can I actually connect to this trailer at all at any point? I cannot. It is now stuck, and it is an obstacle that I'm gonna have to deal with. You know what? I don't care. That's in the past, and we're just going to move on.
here's a thought though. What if we actually do the short log trailer with the short log bed? I mean, that will give us four points a trip. And it should be a little bit easier on the system. Yeah, you know what? Let's try that. Okay, two days later and we are back exactly where we started. So, let's get this thing lined up, let's get it loaded up, and then we'll see where we stand after that. Okay, you know what? That will do, because I want to get some weight over the axles before we load up the rear trailer. Alright, we want to be lined up right about there. Come on, right about there. Yeah, let's uh, rotate that a little bit better than that. Now, can I remember how to go... No, I want to... Yeah, I want to go down. Thank you. Um, crane grab? Tell me I picked them all up. Um, why are they stuck? There we go. Okay, I might actually have to move the truck a little bit because that is not gonna cut it. Yeah, here's the thought, Diggy. Let's swing the camera around. Let's uh, pick that up a little bit higher than that. Carefully, carefully. Oh, please tell me this is the size I need. I have a stinking feeling that log card is actually going to be medium logs. Alright, can I reach the back trailer from here is the question. I mean, I kind of can. You know what? Close enough. Let him go. And then we'll pull the crane in. Yeah, no. I want to pull the crane in. I want to drop the crane down. Then I want to bump him in there. Oh, here's a thought. No. A little bit higher. Kind of like... There, maybe? No, you definitely gotta go slightly higher. Try that. There we go. Whoops, almost. No. <laughs> Come on, dum dum. Just a little bit of a nudge. There we go. Okay, now let's try medium logs and see if that's what my truck needs. Okay, moment of truth. There's four logs in there, so if I restore the crane, yep, restore the crane, change trucks to you, and then we start you up, can I actually pack this load? No, medium logs is not the answer, it had to be short ones. There we go. Problem solved. Okay. Now let's try short logs. Okay, there we go. Now, is six logs what we need to load this thing up? So let's restore the crane. Let's switch the trucks. Hop on in. Fire you up. Hello. Uh, yeah, start the engine. Pack the truck. Okay, perfect. Well, as perfect as anything has been in this episode. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Some days you get the bear. Some days the bear gets you. Now, tell me that's going to give me enough traction to very easily pull forward so we can load up the short trailer. That looks like it's going to work absolutely 100%. 
Spot on. Okay, I'm gonna load this thing up, and then I think we're gonna end the episode. Okay, there we go. Now, restore that. Stop. No. Stop the engine. Thank you. Change the trucks. Thank you again. Start your engine. Turn your headlights on, because it's flipping dark out. And let's pack the back. Now, I said we were going to end the episode, but I really want to know, before we do, how much nicer this is going to be to drive. So, let's uh, pop it into gear and see if we can make it up this hill. Oh, hell yeah, this is way better. Okay, well, you know what? We might as well finish the delivery. Here. Now, do I have to have all of them in the square? You know what? Just in case, we'll do that. And... Unload. I know I'm not carrying any load. Ah, okay, so this place should have... Two points left it needs. Actually, you know what? Let's just check them out. Yeah, we need two more points there. And we need eight down there. So I think what we're going to do is, in the next episode... We're going to go back, we're going to load the uh, truck and trailer both up again, only this time we're going to actually deliver six points to this lumber mill down here. Now would this be easier to do, ooh, actually that's a pretty rough stretch of road there too. Yeah, you know what, I think the way we're going to have to do this is we're going to have to go back to the garage and then take the side road down, and then yeah, we can unlock the watch point, we can deliver six points, and then to finish the map off, we should be able to just unhook the trailer behind us and do single loads to each lumber mill, and then that will be the map completed. <sighs> okay, well, I tell you what, this one was quite a struggle, but if nothing else, it was funny. And yeah, we are making a hell of a mess out of the landscape, but we are actually accomplishing our goal of delivering lumber with a truck that's not suited for off-roading. And on that surprising note... As always, I've been Digby. I thank you guys for stopping by. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Mud Runner, even though it was, well, quite a fiasco. And yeah, I hope to see you for the next one. Oh, yeah.